Radio Free Tatooine presents Galactic War Report, a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes podcast. Boshuda, fellow Hollow Table hustlers, you're tuned in to Galactic War Report, a Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes podcast that's better than some and worse than others. I'm Sean, a.k.a. The Other Sean, and sitting across the hollow table from me is John, a.k.a. The Uncanny Mr. H. Hello, and thank you for joining us for a very special episode. A very, It's a Thursday episode. That's how you know we're about to talk <laughs> about something real serious. If, if we're doing it a day early, you know. Something happened. Yeah, so uh, we have a special episode today, and then tomorrow we'll be posting our regular weekly episode. Now... There was a bit of a curveball this week as Capital Games dropped a new raid on us uh, just hours before we recorded this. Yeah. So that's going to be the the regular Friday episode. We'll be talking about the new heroic, not heroic, the challenge tier Rancor raid. I don't even know what you call it. Is it challenge? I, I, what I can tell raid. you is that thus far we're bad at it and we'll yeah. tell you all about how bad we are. Yeah, I'll tell you all about the mistakes I've made. Um, so that's coming on Friday, but today we are going to be playing a conversation that we had with Doja Fett and Crumb and Sig from Sig Sig from <laughs> SWGOHEvents.com. We recently all got together and talked about bum, 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 the Beskar Mandalorian. Uh, Beskar Armor Mandalorian. We're going with Bam. Is that? I, yeah. I still like Mando Plus personally. MBA maybe also. Yeah, Mando Plus it seems corporate, like Disney Plus, right? In, hey, it's, in line it's a brand. with yeah. Uh, we're going to be talking about this new Mandalorian, uh, the requirements to unlock him, um, and a little bit about the event itself. Uh, in addition to, you know, how we're going to get these characters. Because none of us, I shouldn't say none, almost all of us don't Many have our us. Mando characters ready for <clears> this. <throat> so there are some ways. Uh, there's a This is the way that I could mash in there if I was Don't, don't strain yourself. But, yeah. Uh, so anyways, I hope you enjoy it. I think we got a lot of good info and... Um, even more than than Doja's forum leak, um, mm-hmm. we have even more information than that <laughs> in this. Yeah, it's when when it, when it goes live, what you need to get in. Um, it's very, I think, very pleasant news about the journey guide to go with it. So the event is coming out next Wednesday, sixteenth, mm-hmm. I believe, and uh, that's where we're going to start the conversation. Um, This is what you have to look forward to on Wednesday. All right. We are now being joined by CG Doja Fett. You may have seen him on the forums. Uh, I believe he has a a parrot with a wampa arm for a uh, icon. Last I knew Um, community manager at galaxy of heroes. Welcome to the program, Doja. Hey, well, thanks for having me. And uh, most of what you just said is true. (laughs) <laughs> that's that's better than our podcast usually scores so <laughs> not, bad, yeah, not bad yeah the, the 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 truest thing is the the parrot does have a wampa arm it required uh, some stitching but we got it <laughs> it's handy uh, i could yeah. imagine yeah. But um, no, it's, uh, it's it's good to be here thanks for thanks for having me on the show it's, it's yeah been, absolutely it's, it's it's you've been with the company for a while and we've been trying to wrangle you into this uh circus so Good luck. Um, we'll we'll see where we go. Uh, we're we're here to talk about this uh, this new Mandalorian uh, Mando numero dos. Yeah, I'd heard uh, something about that. The dose or, or would you like to introduce the other war. two people we have in the show, though, Sean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, as soon as it sits <laughs> back down, uh, we've got we've got Sig Sig from SWGOHEvents.com. You, you probably hear us talk about uh, our preparation for these events and. We always fail, but uh, thank you for letting us know that they're coming and, and how we're supposed to prepare for them. Hey, guys. No, you, you do a good job covering the events, though. So 
we, 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 we read just we just read your <laughs> website <Yeah. laughs> and uh and as is often the case with capital games in the house we have cgsb crumb just uh uh kind of lurking uh, with an actual koaki and monkey his head moves on oh my his gosh shoulder. that's incredible this is that this is, is this changes everything that is next level <laughs> Wow. You know, we don't do video, right? So I don't know if you're prepared for that or I'm counting on it. Yeah. yeah. It's, that's, it's, that's the whole hope. It's, it works, it plays better on audio, trust me. It's like <laughs> method acting. Yeah. Uh so so let's let's get into this uh this Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, we, we've got a new version of Mando coming to the game very soon. Um and let's talk about the event first of all how's this guy unlocked what do we have to do um what's what's the plan here okay yeah so uh starting in the the week of december 14th uh the event will go live and what we're doing is we're going to return to a uh, hero's journey style event for uh for the new mando best car honor and uh we just felt like the the mandalorian story overall uh fits well with the hero's journey structure and uh, it gives us an opportunity to explore the outer rim in more detail than other types of events would have. So uh, everybody gets to have a little bit of fun with it, see a little more of the outer rim, and uh, and and return to the old uh, hero's journey style of event. So it should be pretty fun. It's been a, a minute since we had a new hero's journey. Yeah, so you know, yeah. it's 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 a it's a good format in particular for Mando. So that's that's why we went with it uh, that way this time. So it's it's available in the the week of the fourteenth. What exactly are we going to need? I mean, I think it's safe to assume we're going to need all the Mandalorian characters. Yeah, you're going to need to have your entire roster at Relic Eight. Uh, Perfect. No, Perfect. I, good, that's good, not, good. That's what we're <laughs> hoping. <to do. laughs> oh man, uh, no. All you're going to need: uh, Seven Star, uh, Grief Karga, uh, Cara Cynthia Dune, Queel, IG Eleven, and uh, the Mandalorian that we released, uh, the brown armor version, back in in last April. Dirty Mando. Um, it, dirty Mando. Dirty and uh, yeah, and 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 uh, Moff Gideon will also be out by this time. But um, but yeah, what you need seven star, like I said, seven star grief, Kara Queel, IG Eleven, and Brown Mando. Okay, so yeah. we, Gideon is out there, but we're not going to need him for this event. That is correct, and correct me if I'm wrong, Crumb, but that is correct. Nope, don't need nope, don't need Moff Gideon for this event. Okay, I, mean, I need him, but for I'm different from. reasons. Who needs him? Come on. Yeah. I mean, he's pretty rad. I've seen I've seen some of the character yeah. models and that alone makes him almost worth it. So. Mm. Yeah. So I think a lot of people are gonna be really happy about this. This, this seems kind of um uh like a you know, a lot of people have been speculating that there would be something, some kind of event for this. But I mean, based on the past, it, it seems like the the bar is always being pushed a little further as the game progresses and as the player base progresses. Um, so we're going to need these five characters. How, how tough are we talking? Like how t- uh, uh, you said relic eight, but I mean, in all honesty, <laughs> no, where, no, it, where are we pushing this? Yeah. Just to be clear, relic eight was a joke. Uh, so sure. it's just the seven star characters that I mentioned. And uh, we expect this hero's journey to be in line with other hero's journey events. Um, so, mm. You know, that's what we're requiring, but, you know, players may figure out how to do it with, uh, with less. Uh, that's one of the fun things about making the game is, you know, we have our, our points where we kind of feel like players, what we want them to hit. But inevitably, I mean, the player base is so huge and passionate and, and yeah. smart that uh, a lot of times they figure out how to do it with less. So uh, that's okay. The only, like I said, the only hard requirement is having the characters at seven star. We nice. do recommend uh, level 85 and gear 10, but uh, all you need is seven stars. And if you can do it with less, then, then good on. Gear 10 Here. is just a breath of fresh air at this point, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> recommend it, though. I love you it. Know. What, what are you trying to say? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah, just... yeah. Something requiring only gear 10 would be, frankly, astonishing. I, I think this is going to be, this is great. I mean, I know some people, most of the people I know who play this have played it for a very long time right because i mean guilds kind of gravitate towards similar power levels and and, and rosters uh, but i know a few people who are much newer players when a galactic legend comes out they don't cool all right i'll have that in a couple of years you know but i mean this feels like 
uh, something that's going to be a lot more accessible. Um, like I have to imagine that's that's part of the point of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Because right now, obviously, Mandalorian is very hot. It's the hot topic in Star Wars. Um, it's what people are excited about. Um, I, I've been watching obviously every week as the episodes drop, and mm-hmm. it just seems like they keep getting better and better. And so, uh, yeah, I'm stoked on it. I, I'm sure everybody out there uh, that's into Star Wars is stoked on it. So we, we do want this to be uh, relatively uh, accessible. Uh, obviously, got to put in a little bit of work to get the characters uh, up to seven star and whatnot. But um, yeah, ma- mainly just accessibility. Uh, and the, the other cool thing, this, this, the event is going to go to the journey guide. And so there's not, it's not going to be in the past where it's going to run for like a little bit and then you got to wait for the return. Mm. uh you know panic farming any of that so uh it's just it's gonna it's gonna be permanently in the journey guide you can lock them whenever you're ready and so that part of it's cool so the the best guy armor mandalorian is going immediately into the journey guide upon release uh it will be available permanently in the journey guide upon release so yeah you, you farm them at at uh at your convenience there. that's nice yeah, that's pretty nice, huh? Because yeah. I, I have been in that loop, especially with General Skywalker, where I'm like, I'm ready. And yeah. Eight weeks later, I'm like, I'm still ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. I, I encountered the same thing uh, with R2 and uh, Grandmaster Yoda uh, years ago when I was trying to unlock them. And I was pretty confident that I was going to get at least one of them the first time around. And it just didn't work out. And then, and then you're waiting. And, uh, mm-hmm. that's I, think it, I think it was like last year I unlocked Grandmaster Yoda, completely honestly. I think I just never bothered. Really? It was really late. What really? Happened, I took I took my time because <laughs> apparently. I'm, oh, this I'm is this is Dojo's first experience with uh, the Enigma that is John's roster. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't have anywhere to put him. I still don't really. He's just kind of around. Well, you know, he's a wise Jedi master, so I am. There's, there's worse true. people to keep around. Oh, oh, you are. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. definitely talking about you. Man. Although, you <laughs> share, share, share some resemblance, though. So. Right, yeah. I think he has more hair. Which one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we know Queel and IG-11 are still pretty but, new. Um, right. And we've heard about these additive drops. Um, some scuttlebutt? How, yeah, how, how long is that going to be a thing? It's not going to be permanent, I assume. Uh, nope. So both Quill and IG-11 will be available as additive drops on Cantina nodes. Uh, that might be the scuttlebutt, which you heard about. And then um, for the rest of December and the start of January, uh, they'll be available on those additive drops for Cantina nodes. Um, so you're good to go there. I'm not wrong. They had that in the, in the road ahead, right? Five days. I believe so. Yeah. The additive I, drafts? I know, I, I know I read it on the forums. Uh, well what you probably didn't have in the road ahead is that after uh, adam drops on cantina nodes uh they'll be moving to the hard nodes um as soon as those additive drops uh, on cantina nodes end on on january 6th so they'll go from the additive drops on cantina nodes boom uh yeah. january 6th or 7th uh moving on to the hard nodes nice okay. on, on the 12, 12 hard nodes i assume 12 energy <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. bold of you to assume these things i'm just curious um, what was the what was the reasoning behind doing that bring it, doing the additive drops first and then going to the hard notes um so part of the reasoning was i basically wanted to to make it so like i said this this is one of the characters that's a little more accessible and so um is done for like kind of the same reasons that we add them to the journey guide immediately right so like let character mm. let players get a hold of the character uh while everybody's still excited for the mandalorian and the show is still fresh in their minds and i uh, basically kind of like how we did with the shard chop currency we want to accelerate the whole process uh for unlocking the character and then uh just kind of do something nice for the players and give them a head start on their requirement um that way like i said there's there's no rush to get the units unlocked by a certain date it's just uh a, a smoother experience so you can work on those characters farm them and then his events always in the journey guide so boom go get it when you're ready. now i know you're not going to tell us what the drop rate is going to be as an additive drop but i'm very curious how that's going to work out versus the hard node well, <laughs> well i time will tell yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see mm. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. interesting so <laughs> so what uh i guess this is 
going going through additive drops with Quill and IG eleven. Yeah, into a hard node. Right. Um. And so, so what's the catch here? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want? It's so to easy. Yeah. Like I said, every character that really came on your entire roster. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. No, this uh, this this sounds great. So, um, it's gonna be a hero's journey, which it's been a while since we've had one, right? right. Yeah. Um, what was the last one? Was it Ray? I think. Uh, no. Because oh, Revan. Part- yeah, that, that was uh, uh, well, was that a hero's Legends of so the Hollow Table or something? Yeah, technically Jedi Luke was a hero. Well, it was a journey, so I guess it depends uh, on how you categorize so. it. Okay. It was a journey, you're right? Yeah, uh, <laughs> Darth Revan event was an ancient journey because he's not a hero, right? Oh, ah, yes. Well, yeah. you can still be a hero, but from ancient times, right? Yeah, but he's yeah. Not. It's tough to be a Darth <laughs> like, hero yeah. though. <laughs> An ancient journey, that's what sure. Um, Breaking news from uh, SB Crumb: Old people can't be heroes. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> um, no, but what? Have, uh, you ne- have you never met the janitor from The Simpsons? That guy seems old. He's my hero. Uh, or uh, hero. number ninety-nine? What was his name from the, the Clone Wars? <laughs> Uh, 99 i think was yeah it? rex and yeah. rebels right like he's uh, so i'm saying where's the 99 yeah. character in this game uh, yeah the real hero of the republic <laughs> <laughs> someone's gotta haul those weapons it? i guess I know, uh so like. yeah, with the hero's journeys we do tend to get more uh intricate events as far as things go i, I remember mm-hmm. with you know ray and kylo ren in particular there were little cut scenes and things along those lines so are we going to see anything like interesting from the like season one we're not, are we not getting into season two stuff i imagine i we're not getting into season two stuff uh you know right now but i uh, as far as uh, anything special for this event um yeah it, it the the art is, the, is what's cool working at the studio is you can see when people get excited about something and uh the artist definitely got excited for uh Mando and a lot of the characters surrounding, him, particularly like IG Eleven with the baby Yoda on him, whose name we now know. Uh, mm. And so, uh, for yeah, this hero's journey, there's going to be some cool cutscenes. So just like previous hero's journeys, we've uh, uh, the artists have you know gone and created, uh, recreated some of the, the more impactful story moments uh, from from season one. And so, as a player, you'll get to experience uh, that part of the journey of the Mandalorian from season one firsthand. So uh, it's a cool event. We're looking forward to it. Hopefully y'all are too. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're fighting a mud horn, right? We've got to be fighting a mud horn. <laughs> got no comment on that. No Get it to enrage, and then the, then uh, the child has to save you. We we're gonna eat the egg. That's how you. That's how you eat beat the egg. Yeah. <laughs> you got. That was foreshadowing, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, was, uh... <laughs> so we're getting. Queen on IG-11 on January 6th or 7th. That's mm-hmm. like couching was not missed on me. Uh, and we're getting the Mando event itself the week of the 14th of December. Correct. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited for it. <laughs> I, I need to really get my, uh, my grief handled and my, my uh, brown Mando. Yeah. Well, it's um, a good thing I, you, you worked on Grandmaster Yoda. <laughs> Instead of them. <laughs> You know, that was that was the last year. Yeah, okay. I was, I was being timely with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and they're not last double drop yet either, are they? They're not part of the uh, the old show. No, yet. no, no, no. But like I said, yeah, you, know, you don't have to. There's no reason to to like. Oh, I'm gonna miss the the events or anything. It's it's gonna be get it when you're ready. Yeah, so get it when you're ready. Very fantastic. Exciting. Yeah. Well, Doja thank you so much for stopping by. It's been a pleasure. Uh, going over this and it's just it's just straight up exciting news you know old players new players i think people are going to love this i uh, well yeah we obviously we hope so um we're, we're proud of what we've we've done and how it's going to be presented and uh just being permanently available in the journey got all that stuff it, it it seems it seems like good stuff and so that's what we're trying to do here and uh as far as uh having me on i really appreciate it um I, this is something obviously that Tom and i are looking to do uh, a little more of so it's good to to finally get out and be able to to talk to some people uh, from the community and and interact with y'all so you know to the, the pleasure the is mine community right yeah. <laughs> to, to, if to manage, manage us. Yeah. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> 
that's a tall task, man. But uh, you know, we we do our best, and uh, this has been fun. I appreciate you guys having me on. It's, it's an honor and a pleasure. So. Okay, that's all we've got for you this week. It may not be the best advice, but at least we didn't recommend relicking your jowls yet. Mm. That's probably tomorrow's show. Galactic War Report is brought to you by our Patreon supporters. Learn how to become one and get access to our Discord server at patreon.com slash galactic war report. As always, big thanks go out to our sand crawler level supporters, CT1980, Devin Docterman, John T. Kucinic Jr., and SWGOH.GG. If you like what you hear, please consider showing your support with a rating and or review through your podcast medium of choice. Thanks for tuning in, and may the Force and RNG be with you.